Okay guys, welcome back again. I have a problem with this uh, handbrake. Uh, in winter, it always, you know, jams up. And if I'm reversing, it's not getting released. I did adjust the handbrakes by through that hole, which is in the rear drums. Uh, but that is not the actual way to fix it. Let me show you guys how to fix this problem. So I have only like two clicks. I have two clicks and on the second click it pretty much locks up but it doesn't hold the car at all and uh, sometimes if I start the car even if I release the handle over here I have to press this thing down otherwise it's gonna be on even though handle is down but the brake light is on if I push the handle down no, it's off. Uh, there are two things. There is a cable that is probably a little bit rusted, needs a little bit of lubrication. But uh, let me show you guys how to adjust the handbrake uh, proper way. Okay, so first of all, loosen up the lug bolts on both tires, the rear tires. Uh, all 100 series Land Cruisers I believe takes 22 millimeter and all the 80 series takes 21 millimeter uh, tire iron so this is uh, 22 right here and then just loosen them up there is a lock also uh, these cars come with a lock so nobody can steal the rims or tires no, this is the key to it put that in and then using your 22 millimeter tire iron just uh, rotate it and it will open this uh, lug here yeah. Okay, turn it again. I can actually see it. Now we just need to loosen up the lug bolt. Don't have to take it out. I just went down to see the view. Okay, so the front wheels are chalked, transmission is in neutral. Uh, the car is sitting on the jack stands the jack is just for safety don't trust it don't really get under it either even if it's on jack stands we are gonna be working on the side you make sure your wheel is spinning free this is spinning free Normally, if you guys want to adjust the handbrake, the easiest way is to like bring this grommet all the way to the bottom, and then there's an adjustment screw. You insert a flathead screwdriver in it, take this grommet out, it's just a rubber. Insert that flathead, and you know, either rotate it upwards or downwards, and that, that's gonna make your handbrake tight or loose. But that's um, not very accurate way. So I'm going to remove this uh, brake caliper with the bracket. There are two 17 millimeter bolts which are accessible 
from the back one is right here and the other one is right under it I sprayed it with a WD-40 let it soak for a few seconds few minutes and then I'm gonna open the whole bracket instead of just a caliper and once I remove the caliper then I'm gonna take out this disc spray some lubrication over here so it's easy to slide uh, if you guys are planning to replace this you guys can be a little bit careless and hit it with a hammer from the back side but I'm not going to replace my brake disc so I'm gonna use a bolt which I'm gonna bolt right into here so it can push it outside I was able to remove I mean to loosen up the top 17 millimeter bolt don't use your uh, ratcheting driver it might damage it so it's just a regular ratchet I mean a 3.8 driver not a ratchet Top bolt is loose. Let's do the bottom one. Oh my goodness. Let me let me show you guys where it's bolted to. So I removed the top one. It's I mean it's loose, but now the bottom one. Yeah, don't use your ratcheting driver, it might damage the gears. Once it's loose, switch to ratcheting driver. I think I have to remove the caliper first, so let's remove the caliper. I wanted to take the caliper along with the bracket out, but it's stuck pretty bad, so. This is a eight millimeter dust shield. Oh, this is 12 and this is 12 uh, there is a nut on this side it may spin free but let's uh, try opening it without open end wrench first okay so this is a uh, 14 not 12 I'm sorry This thing is gutless. Brakes are pretty good. I replaced it a couple 
about a year and a half ago. Oh, let's see. Oh, nice. So this is the adjustment screw. Where is that screwdriver? Right here. If you guys rotate it downwards, if you rotate this downwards, it's gonna loosen up the the emergency brake pads. If you rotate it upwards it's gonna get it more tight let me show you guys how you do it okay so you put this in there oh. see this resistance that's not good it shouldn't have any resistance so let it let's get it loose sticking to these pads show that knob right there bring it one rotation down and then put it back on I'm gonna get it tight all the way and I'll show you guys if you guys can see this is expanding out okay so if you can't put the rotor back in that means it's need to see it's all the way out now we have to find a sweet spot where it's just in the right spot so we can fit this easily and take it out easily so see this is completely now go don't have to struggle taking it out one notch one thread loose and it should be good now okay yeah, it goes in easy and it's still sticking so easy to put up put it back in and very easy to take it out let's see so you gotta look for this sweet spot right here you know I'm gonna make it a bit more tight once you find that sweet spot that's it okay bit resistance but not too much I think I will call this good yeah if I get it a little bit more loose you know the handbrake will be not so good so that's the uh, and whenever you are rotating this make sure there is 
it's rotating free. Okay, this side is done. Uh, let's uh, see the other side. So you, what you guys gotta do is, you know, that screw down there, you can rotate it with your fingers if it's not pressed in. Um, if you rotate it downwards, it's gonna get this loose and you know, those uh, pads are gonna go in. And if you rotate it upwards, this is the right side. This is the right rear side. And if you rotate it upwards, it's gonna expand and it's gonna hold on to this drum. So that's how you, you know, make sure you can easily put the drum back in. I mean the disc, disc back, back in and take it easily back out. That's the sweet spot. Once you guys adjust your emergency brake settings, handbrake settings, uh, everything is good. I suggest to put some lubrication on this, these springs. This is actually the mechanism for pulling that uh, brake shoe close to the drum. So try to, you know, lubricate this side and the other side. Uh, so your cable is not gonna get stuck somewhere or, you know, it's not gonna have resistance. Uh, the adjustment tip is you guys don't want too much res resistance and you guys don't want it too loose. So that's the sweet spot for it. Uh, then put everything back together and that's it. That's how you adjust your emergency brake. Okay, thank you very much for watching and bye for now.